family members. And you should like fat families because they make learning fun and exciting. Anybody know what a fat family is? Emily! It's Numbers that go together kind of in the groups of three. In other words, if you know this addition problem, if you know that 7 plus 3 is 10, using those three different numbers, okay, you can come up with three other problems that are true. In other words, because of the commutative property of addition, the first thing you'd say is, well, if 7 plus 3 is 10, then 3 plus 7 is 10. You get your two addition facts, and from these you can also make two subtraction facts, which would be 10 minus 3 is 7, and 10 minus 7 is 3. This group of different facts that you can make using the same numbers is what we call a fact family. Now let's play a little game here. If I gave you two of the three numbers, let's say I gave you 8 and 2. 8 and 2. What do you think would be a third number that would go with 8 and 2 to form a fact family? I know the obvious one. Two gets the odd. Grace, the obvious one is 10. 10, because you could do 8 plus 2 is 10. You could do 2 plus 8 is 10, you could do 10 minus 2 is 8, and you could do 10 minus 8 is 2. But there's another one that's not quite as obvious. Brianna? Yeah? 6. Why would that be? Because you could do 8 minus 2 is 6, right? 8 minus 6 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8, and 2 plus 6 is 8. Any other ones? I suppose you could do negatives if you're good at negatives. Negative 6 would go in that one. And you can also do this with multiplication. You can't do it with subtraction though. Well, yes you can. I have to say that because you can do that. I forget. That was kind of a, I wasn't making kind of statements. Um, is that it? One last piece of note for you before you get to your first exciting assignment.